M20 Marine. Quick and ship. You know what this is? Hey, this is Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat Adventures, and this is episode 44, The Code and the Fix. Now, this follows on the heels of episode 43, where the 2017 SX-190 developed a check engine code. I was able to get it home, go through the diagnostics, and determine through contacting Yamaha's uh, customer service and doing some online investigation of the trouble code, I was able to determine that it is an O2 sensor. O2 stands for oxygen sensor. On the 2017 SX-190's motor, which is the Yamaha 1800cc naturally aspirated motor, this is the one that came out of California, it does have a catalytic converter and there is an oxygen sensor in front of the catalytic converter and an oxygen sensor after the catalytic converter. The code indicated that the problematic O2 sensor was the one after the catalytic converter. Now because I live here in Hawaii, our support mechanism from Yamaha is very weak out here. It's not a problem with Yamaha, it's just that the Yamaha dealer, I believe, that used to could service these boats or at least be a, a destination for questions and maybe ordering of parts is, is no longer. So Yamaha's uh, a customer service recommended I contacted contacted my originating dealer, which was M20 Marine back in San Diego, and I did that. And fortunately, I was able to speak to Brett, and Brett took ownership of my situation. Uh, I had all the documentation ready to go because I still have an extended warranty on my Yamaha. I bought the, uh, the YES program, Yamaha Extended Warranty Plan. And after listening to my... Um, what I had done, he's like, yep, it's O2 sensor, let me get you one in the mail, boom. I had it in three days and I was able to put it in over the weekend and go right back on the water. All right, so what you've been looking at is an online service manual that I was able to find after spending lots of time looking online, trying to find the service manual for Yamaha. I finally found it and I just grabbed my cell phone camera and I just started taking pictures of this for this video so this is the online version you can see the codes down below it tells you um, what the sensor is what the code is and this is tell you this is what your mechanic would be doing to check all of these lines with their multimeter in this case we're not even going to bother that we're just going to replace the O2 sensor all right so the boat is out in the water I've got the water line connected up to it got it running. I'm going to start it up here and we'll repeat this the same thing we saw in episode 43. We're going to start it up. We're going to get the check engine light and then I'll get into the uh, demonstration or the explanation of how to go about locating the O2 sensor, where each one of them are at, and then how to remove it. Very simple operation. All right, right here, this is the uh, pre-catalytic converter. That big silver thing with my finger on, that is it right there. And on the other side of the engine, you're going to find the post-catalytic uh, O2 sensor. This one is easy to get off. You can get right to it. Very easy. The other one is a little bit more difficult, as you're going to see. It's kind of hidden. You also have to lay across the, uh, the top of the cylinder. I put, I put a towel down or a shirt down over top of that. There it is right there. And I've... Uh, uh, I've boosted the uh, brightness of this image right there just to see, so you can see it, but that's it. And then it has this little cable running up held together by a famous Yamaha zip tie. And then it goes into a receptacle plug right there. This is one of the reasons why I like Yamaha. You'll notice that this is a, a zip tie. This is a Yamaha zip tie or a, a zip tie that comes on a Yamaha and these can be reused not like your regular zip tie all you do is pull down on that and slide it out simple as that <laughs> yes fanboy but how can you not I mean how 
simple as that that all of them should probably be, be made like this that way you can just reuse them of course that's not going to work out for a business model if they need you to continually buy them but in this case hats off to Yamaha again hats off to Yamaha for making something so simple here's your little your little flange and it just hooks over this little tiny nub that's all it is you trace that back down to the to the O2 sensor down in there we'll put that 17 on it and we'll be back in business Notice that uh, comes standard with some anti seize already built into it or already spooged on the threads. It came off relatively easy. I, I would recommend anybody doing this. It's a 17 millimeter uh, box end wrench. Uh, Yamaha made it a little difficult. You gotta lean in over top of the uh, engine block, over top of the head, lean into the back. And their cowling, they've got a plastic cowling covering over it. They should have made that a little bit wider. Uh, that 17 millimeter box and had trouble getting up in there. Well, that's pretty much it. Get yourself a 17 millimeter box end wrench. Determine which catalytic, uh, which O2 sensor it is in the front or the back. It doesn't make a difference really because of the, they're the same part number. So just get the right one. Do the uh, removal, do the installation, start it back up. You're good to go. That's it. We're all pal. This is Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat Adventures. We'll see you next time. Aloha.